Welcome back everybody to a new series. In this one, we're gonna be creating the game Battleship in GB Studio. And the reason why I want to create Battleship specifically is because it basically isn't possible right now with the built-in features of GB Studio. We will have to use code in order to make this work, I believe. So if you don't know what Battleship is, it is a two-player game that I want to make work via the link cable. So basically, each player will have a grid of 10 by 10, which they will place their ships on, and then they won't be able to see the other player's uh, place, and they would basically be dropping bombs onto the grid, and then when they hit, they get to go again, and the first person to destroy their whole fleet of the other person wins the game, right? So, obviously, it's already been made on Game Boy before. I believe I've got it on a multi-cart. There's um, a version of it. But I'm not sure if it works with the link cable, obviously. The whole idea is we'll be doing this together and learning how to make a specific Game Boy game in GB Studio. Another reason why we're going to be using a already made game is that we don't have to worry too much about the mechanics and the balancing. Obviously, there's, a, there's already loads of information on, you know, what Battleship is like and how it should be played or how it could be played. Um, so by not having to worry about, you know, creating a game, it means we can focus on the actual engine, right, which is GB Studio. And when I'm making it, I'm going to be obviously trying to do it to this, uh, the new 2002 version of um, the game where there's a 5, 4, 3, 3, 2 length boats. Um, and this just makes it a better, more fun game for the players. Um, because if you look back in the history, it implied that there were boats with to the size of one, if you look here. And what this means is it's really hard to basically find that strategically. You have to basically hit everywhere. Imagine you have a strategy of finding a two. You can't really have a strategy of finding a one except for hitting everywhere on the board. Again, this is a reason why I wanted to have a game that's already made, so we don't have to um, worry about the, the nuances, right? It will just be about creating the game for the player. Um, in digital version. So I already foresee problems. Like I said, I don't believe it's, it's easy to be made in GB Studio as it is right now. Obviously there are two phases to the game, one where you place your ships and then the second phase when you're attacking and finding the other ships. So when you're placing your ships, if we have a look at this image, um, imagine this is a grid, you know, the eight by eight tiles of the Game Boy and we're placing down things. Um, I can already foresee it being quite hard to do. So, for example, if you place a... Actually, if, let's just say if you rotate a sprite. How do you rotate a sprite? That's a great question, and I will have to figure out a way to do that. Um, and also, uh, sprites aren't 8 by 8 They're actually 8 across by 16 down, right? So it means that um, if you have two rows where there is loads of stuff going on, it means that the sprite limit is, is, is basically being hit. Um, and it, it will then not render correctly and basically look broken. Another problem is it as well is when you're placing the X's on the on the board, how do we track those? Um, because if we have a whole line of X's, if we're going to use them as actors or sprites, then we'll hit the actor limit and the sprite limit very quickly. Um, technically, you can only have 10 actors in a row at once. Um, so if it's a 10 by 10 grid, if you go across it all the way, then... Um, you can't have, a, you know, your cursor to, you know, move across them without it basically breaking how it looks. Obviously, maybe in the first version of this, we can have it that it's broken and so we can understand why it's broken and how it breaks. Um, but then as we move on, we obviously will have to overcome those problems. So we will need a way to basically update the background sprite. So instead of just having a sprite on top, we will basically replace the sprite in the background or the, sorry, the background tile. We will replace the background tile with a new tile that has basically the image on, right? And that will, I believe that will be the hardest thing to do, but obviously we are, are still talking about the link cable, we are to, talking about rotating sprites and everything, so there will be a lot of problems that we will encounter, and I'm hoping I'll try and get some help from you guys along the way, and we will learn how to do this together. Um, and it will be just a great experience for all of us. I have found this uh, tutorial, obviously, on um, how to update the this the tiles on the background which is fantastic but i have seen there's a comment saying it replaces all the duplicates of the tile you're referencing um so that will definitely be a problem and we'll have to overcome that um if it was just like replacing one tile it would be super easy 
but it doesn't seem like it's that easy. Um, so we will definitely have to, you know, learn to do this together. But yeah, that is my plan for my next tutorial series on this channel. Um, in the next one, I will probably start by doing some artwork and, you know, feeling out how it will work, maybe even getting some link cable support, maybe even having a very simple, you know, two by two game where you place, you know, your, um, your ship in the grid and then it's like a one in four chance or something, you know, tiny thing just to test it and show you guys how we can get the link cable working. Um, um, and that would, I think that would be a fantastic way to go. So yeah, just to recap, we'll be remaking Battleship in GB Studio. We'll be making it link cable supported. That also means that I don't have to worry about the AI of the other player because the other player is a human. And we also need to figure out background tile switching in order to basically create the um, board. The more I'm thinking about it, the more the, you know, the ideas are actually coming in of how to do it. Um, so I'm hoping that I will be able to figure it out um, at the time, which is fantastic. It may require some crazy stuff, but um, I'm hoping, you know, I'll be able to get the help of some people who are better at coding than me in order to actually manage to do it. So yeah, let me know what you think about this idea. And if you'd be interested in the link cable and the background switching and everything, I'll try and make a video every week on this until it's done. I hopefully it won't be too long because it's just Battleship. But yeah, next episode, I'll try and get some artwork done so we can talk about the link cable. I'll put my patrons up on screen right now. Thank you very much to you guys. You guys are the best. Remember to like the video if you liked the video, subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment on what you thought of this and what you want to see in the future, and I'll see you in the next video.